Well, here we are again in Man Caves and Margaritas, and as you can tell, we are at Drizzle's Cinema, Cinema Room. Hi, yeah. Hello, Drizzle. All uh, right, Jack. No, yes, we have Jack. This is all one of the best things about coming here. We get yeah. Jack in the middle, don't we? Yeah, chills and watches the whole film uh, with us. Needed him today because it was a bit, a bit intense, today's choice. Yeah, uh, Train to Busan. What a film. Very good film. Very good. We've both seen it before, actually, haven't we? But I couldn't remember most, most of it. Some of it I could, but there's still bits in it, uh, little touching little bits in it that I'd forgotten about. And, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, I think we both saw it at the Broadway as well, didn't we? I think we saw it together, to be honest. Yeah. yeah. Um, all I can remember about seeing that was thinking about up until that point, apart, apart from sort of films like 28 Days Later and 28 Weeks Later and stuff like that, I kind of got to the point where I was feeling a bit saturated with zombie films and mm. infected films and mm. things. And they weren't really doing an awful lot for me. And then I can remember someone saying, oh, no, this is really good. And thinking, well, OK, so going to see it and then just like thinking, flipping it, that could well be one of my favourite infected it was very well type films. put together very well put together it had a very very good sense of a beginning middle and end with loads of like beats it hit loads of beats throughout so usually if you'd say to someone um you know it's, it's like in a zombie film set on a train you'd be like well that's gonna, that's gonna be a bit b boring. movie it's you think be, b movie you think well, b movie you? and you think well how are they going to keep that interesting yeah but they did because they, they kept cow. they kept so many things going all the time, so many different little story beats. I loved all the little characters in it. Mm. I, I really like the way the characters are introduced because they've got to be quite quick with the introductions. And yet, and yet you, certain characters, particularly in a very short period of time, you start to really quite care about what happens to them and stuff. Um, and I really like how they did that. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's the, the, yeah, quite quite often in a film. Sorry, to cut you off. Right. In, in a film like that, so say if you had like eight main characters before they got on the train, you'd see all 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 of their lives yeah. outside, and then and then they'd all cook, you know join on the train. But this one you didn't. You you had you had the main lead and his yeah, daughter. just the, him and the daughter, yeah. uh, and then everyone else we are introduced to on the train. Yeah. Which was really good way very of doing clever. It. Yeah. Uh, the guy with the pregnant wife, um, that business about his that his very short conversation about sacrifice when he's talking to him about how we sacrifice ourselves for our kids, and yet and then later he's actually doing physically sacrificing himself for his unborn child and things like that. Really, really like you say, really clever, good writing, clever, clever, interesting way of sort of bringing everybody in but done so well uh i mean it's a very it's it's the only it's the only zombie film that I, not today because i could remember the ending but i teared up at the end of that film when i saw it at the broadway and um that, that's not so far, something i would expect to say when watching a zombie horror or infected horror if if, if ever i say zombie i know this film's infected just let's just get that out there now. Well, what's the difference? Well, there's this massive debate, isn't there? A zombie is where the person's already dead, but they're but they still a brain still alive or something. I don't know. Whereas infected is that you're you're alive, but you get infected, and it's the infection that makes you want to like, rah, 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 and stuff. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, there are the I people guess. out there saying yeah. 28 Days Later is an infected film. Uh, uh, Day the, of the Dead's a zombie film. The, the infected or the zombies or whatever in this, they, they were done really well. Um, God. Like their, um, their ability to... to uh, it kind of... What do you call it? Body acting. And, um, the clicks and the moves. Yeah. Uh, they must have spent a he hell of a long time. I mean, me and you have both worked on the yeah. zombie movie. And we know how hard it is to get extras to do anything other than what, what in their head they think might make a, a good-looking zombie, yeah. but they've actually got no idea. But yeah. all, all of those, they were obviously all quite well trained in, in body acting and how to move. And, and They all had the same brief as to how they wanted the infection to carry you. Yeah. 
they all had the same brief that was clear but they were all allowed to do that brief in their own weird clicky sort yeah. of way yeah, yeah. Uh, there's yeah. another thing I was I was wondering through sorry to get a bit specific on, on zombies but like or infected or whatever but like some would turn within like five seconds and then the others would be like it would take like you know a couple of minutes yeah I'm that, thinking that, that was like probably more done as a storytelling like yeah you could say thing. that or, or is it because just some people are more susceptible to turning immediately? Well, or, or I what? think maybe. You or does it depend say, where you're bitten? Yeah, I was, about, I was literally just about to say maybe it depends on how quickly the virus gets into your bloodstream. So those that are getting bitten on the neck, on the jugular and stuff, bamo. Straight to the brain. Getting bit on the hand would take a lot longer, wouldn't it? Or, yeah, you know what I mean? I guess so, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah not yeah. if we want to be sort of like really sort of like medical about it, but. Yeah. Oh god, I just feel a bit wrung out actually. It is, it is bloody full on. I, I do feel a bit wrung out actually. It is full on. It's just yeah, and it's not, it's not jump scares at all. It's just constant, constant danger. Danger, yeah. You you're just in constant peril. Yeah. Uh, and I think that's why I, f- I feel so, so wrung out actually. So I've seen it already. I was still sitting there thinking, come on, come on, come. On. Um, it's split up quite well it's like so you've got the intro with just him and and the fact that he's going to visit the kid's mum and things like that at home you know before they get on the train yeah then you've got like the first third of the film or more whatever like which is on the train then you get the relief of thinking that they're going somewhere else where they get off the train at that train station yeah that all goes wrong yeah then they've got to get back on the train oh god then you've got swap trains then they've got to swap trains yeah and all the time it's just constant danger yeah it's fight or flight and um and and i suppose the the good the good thing about having it on the train is they've only got limited amount of room of where they can go and what they can do yeah the choreography of you know yeah such a small space and yet there'd be like sequences where there was a lot of you know fighting and, and and panic and a lot of movement and things but you know done in quite not long shots, but you know that like the camera wasn't cutting t- really fast, so the amount of choreography it took them to get round what little yeah. space they had, and also have really the cameras good. there in the right place, and it was really good. Um, I really like. Um, I really like now. What now? What was the shot that I? Re- I was watching it. It was one particular shot that I really liked. Oh yes, I know. There was a point where um, the the <laughs> the humans that weren't really being particularly nice think they've managed to make themselves secure and then the old lady opens the door mm. and then all the zombies come in and and, and, and start killing them and i really like the shot where um he takes the, the the director got the camera and it kind of like very slowly in slow-mo went down the carriage and you got to see all the things happening it just in oh, a bit yeah, of slow yeah. mo almost like a music video but, yeah. yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like oh i but really like that they didn't go it's funny you used to say that because i i did notice all that cinematography at that point because they didn't go straight to the action they stayed with the people that got gotten in in the middle cab that were forced forced in there yeah they, for the first 30 seconds they stayed just on their reaction and all you could see was all the blood people and stuff in the shadows yeah. the doors and stuff yeah so you saw, so clever you saw really, how, how it reacted to them and then it then it switched to some more more artistic yeah slow-mo kind of. but i noticed they did that with so when the dad phones home to his note his mum phones him on the train like, yes. right, right near the beginning yeah and she's like oh make sure take care of the kid and and, and make sure yeah. you get it and you realise that she'd been infected and there's all loads of noise in the background. But all the time, it didn't go to her. The camera didn't show her. It just showed his reaction it him, it? to it happening, yeah. which was a really clever twist. Not twist. Re- just a really clever way of showing the emotion. Yeah, it's really, really, it was, it was a really... Uh, is emotive the right word? To, is that the right word to use when you're saying... It, for a horror film, there was a lot of emotion in it. It was very emotive. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah you can say that. Yeah. Um, I mean, my oh God, the young girl in it. I mean, how old could she have been as an actress? She's such a good act- little actress. I mean, my God, that, that, the way they get her to act at the very, very end, when she's screaming for her dad and stuff. Mm. Holy God. I mean, there's adult actors that couldn't do that. Yeah, really. Uh, really natural. Oh, my God. Um 
yeah, it just yeah, it's just it's just it really is just a gripping film. If you've it must have took a, a lot of work to make, because they you know, like so I was trying to trying to work it out. Obviously, it was it must have been done in the sound studio where they built the, the cabins of the trains as the sets, inside of the sets because you wouldn't train, have been yeah. able to get the cameras in, you know. No. So they would they would have had to like have one that that where the camera could shoot from the left and then. And unless they took like the sides off, they could they could just reattach the sides and stuff. Mm. Then you had shots from the right. Then you had bits where the camera was in the middle, going up and over chairs and yeah. stuff. So you would have had to have bits without the roof without and the roof off, things. Yeah. And, and uh, a lot of setups, you know, an yeah. awful lot of setups. Um, and for continuity as well, I can imagine oh, yeah. that would have been a real wow. uh, a bit of a bit of a headache, really, if, if you were doing continuity. Especially like he had a white shirt on, so the blood <laughs> splattered on his white shirt. Oh, yeah. That would have been a right pain in the to Keep matching up every day. Oh my god! <laughs> um, yeah, um, I really, um, I really like the fact that before it all proper kicks off, you get this really clever little build up, um, which is showing. The fact that the city that him and his daughter are in as they're going to the station is just slowly starting to sh show signs of this um, infection that's spilling out from the, uh, the, the yin yang laboratory <laughs> where, he, where he works. Um, so, like, for example, um, when they're sitting in his car and the ash is coming down and she puts her hand oh, out yeah. and the ash just lands on her hand and then, and then the camera shows, again, really cleverly done, just the reflection in the him looking out of the car window and then reflected in the window is the burning building at the top and things it's like oh i love it when 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 there's a bit of effort made it, it, even at the, that shot was what a five second shot and like and it looks so, so great it looks so realistic and it, it makes mm. it makes you think like oh that, that's a good way to hide up any like it's obviously difficult to show a city and in, in the myths of uh, Armageddon, but then they they would flick to a wide shot of the city with mm. like smoke and and stuff all coming up and burning and things, and it looked real. Yeah, it looked great. Actually. They did so well on the CGI, but the most yeah. impressive CGI was that deer that got run over right at the beginning when it starts to flip round and stuff, and then it gets up. Yeah, and it was a CGI deer. And you're like, whoa! And you couldn't even tell, could you? No. And then they cut to the cut to a real deer, which they then CGI the eyes into as well and um although um, i mean yeah talking about the cgi and talking about the effects in general it's really really refreshing to see a, a de decent budget film for a, a korean that is it's k, k with the k rail wasn't it so it's korean so that would be a decently budgeted film for korea that would mm. and it's really refreshing to see that they decided for all this all the infected that they were going to be using makeup prosthetics and we're only going to cgi the the eyes mm. for that white milky eye everything else they were doing by using slightly sped up slightly sped up camera work when they were running clicking or they were getting them to do like you know i mean there must have been like double jointed some of those people the, yeah. what they were doing and stuff yeah. um and, and all of that it was really really refreshing to see that when when i first saw that film I was like, oh man, yeah, this is this is what like um, I am Legend should have been like, mm. instead of like I mean that that probably was about five times the budget of that, but their blooming vampires were a CGI mess, weren't they? Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? It's just like yeah. oh, you just yeah, there's just something about knowing that person is there, it's real, mm. and it just adds so much more to the film. The whole film had loads of care and attention and love put into it mm -hmm. you, you could really tell that it was a passion project the set pieces were um when they came were like really really cool too i mean um where they're trying to stave off all the army at the station when you think um they're, they're going to the station and they're going to be met by the army but the army have all turned and when they're and when they're you know they're staving them off with the glass doors and then they have to leave the glass doors and like literally like three seconds later the glass doors smash and they all pile out and and they're off that's it they're going and they're running and 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 the fact that they don't really care because they're infected they have no idea of like self-harm so you know they would you wouldn't just step out of a window they're just diving out of windows and landing crunching on the ground standing up and then just running again it's like 
that's where the peril comes from, isn't it? It's that it's that whole idea that they're fast and 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 mm. you know that. I mean, when you watch when you watch a zombie film like a classic old zombie film now, um, uh, you know, Dawn of the Dead or whatever, the original Romero ones, and the zombies are sort of like just shuffling along. I mean, obviously, dead scary at the time because you know. But when you watch that sort of zombie compared to these sort of infected zombies that just literally charge at you, yeah, they're like rabid dogs, aren't they? <sighs> it's funny because like the old the old zombies, you know, the old shuffling zombies. The the, the the idea was they'd eventually get you because there's just so many of numbers, them. Numbers, numbers, yeah, and eventually you will have to fall asleep or you'll make a mistake or whatever. Yeah. So I'd I'd really be interested. Like everything goes around in cycles, like trends and stuff. It would be really interesting when I eventually the old slower zombies will come back into fashion again. Yeah. And, and I, I'm looking forward to seeing it how they'll por- portray him. Like, uh, yeah. like Shaun of the Dead, that still stands off as an absolute classic yeah. film. Yeah. It's such a brilliant portrait of a zombie. I mean... I think we should definitely watch that film. Oh, as, uh, you, talking of which, this is a bit slightly off the cuff, actually. This reminds me. So I've just come back from a, a little jaunt to Cornwall and Somerset and whatnot. While I was in Somerset, I walked around the, the city of Wells, and I didn't know until um, I'd read about it. That's where they filmed all of Hot Fuzz. So, um, really? yeah, I was seeing all the little locales from Hot, Hot, Hot Fuzz. But yeah, yeah Sh- Sha- Shaun of the Dead is, I mean, <sighs> zombie or infected films, fast moving or slow moving, there are probably four or five that really stand out for me. Mm. Train to Busan is without doubt in my top five of that sort of genre of films. Shaun of the Dead. I really, I really, really like the um, uh, the twenty eight days virus. later. Yeah, the rage virus ones. I think they're cracking. They are. But it didn't they kind of at the forefront of creating the rage. Yeah, and, that, and the effect. fact that they're running yeah. really fast, you know. Um, and then they did the re- they did a remake of Dawn of the Dead, uh, where they get them to run. That's really good. Actually. It is really good. That is very good. Yeah. Um, that's got one of the best. Oh, that's got one of the best. Sort of ten minute opening in a zombie film. That's the has. almost almost always the best thing about zombie films is the, is the setup. Yeah, um, always, always and, and 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 that's really one of the reasons why I really liked how they set this up because they didn't set this up at the start with it all going completely mental straight off the bat. No, there were just little bits, weren't there? Like um, she's looking out the the girls when the train's just just pulling away from the uh, the platform. Um, she's looking out the window and all of a sudden someone gets. <laughs> mashed down by one person diving on and disappears and she's like huh and she looks at her dad but her dad's like, mm. <laughs> He's like yeah okay things are keying off here and I, and I really appreciate that it's really good storytelling yeah it is it is good storytelling yeah have you ever seen um is it day of the walking dead day of the walking dead it, it's like it was like a site you know so you know the walking dead uh-huh. they did it they did a side series like a spin-off series um I can't remember if it's Day of the Walking Dead. I can't... A TV yeah. show? Yeah. A, a spin-off of The Walking Dead? Yeah. Oh, the pre quick the prequel that they did? Yeah, I think it... Yeah, I guess it was a prequel. Prequel, yeah. yeah. Fear the Walking Dead. Fear, the, Fear of the Walking I Dead. I haven't seen that yet. The setup is really... It's one of the best setups I've really? ever seen. Because it literally starts right at the very beginning of the whole... Whole I should out. watch that then. Whereas obviously it started the Walking Dead, he wakes up in the hospital with money and it's all already, Comes out there. It's already been killed. So I suppose what they did, what do they do? Spend the whole season uh doing the setup for it. First Not, season or Yeah. 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 It's I mean, worth it's, watching them, Defo. Yeah, it's it's really good actually. It's really good. I don't I don't maybe it like the first three or four episodes definitely you'll, yeah, you'll, okay, you'll really like enjoy that. just the setup and stuff, yeah. But yeah, well done to um the makers of Train to Busan for really understanding what what is a Western concept, the whole zombie thing. They did. Um, I don't know if you've seen it or not, but they then they did a a couple of years after that, or three years or so after they did a sequel called um, um, oh, not Pensacola Peninsula. Hmm. Have you seen that? No. So that there's a sequel to Train to Pu- Pu- uh, Busan. <laughs> Pusan. Say, Pusan. <laughs> That's what I would be doing if I had been on that train. <laughs> We've already worked out that as much as I'd like to think I would be the heroic guy that saves his pregnant wife by sacrificing himself 
I'd actually be the businessman that throws the stewardess <laughs> into the zombies so that I could get away. But that's okay, say la vie, because <laughs> if that sort of stuff absolutely terrifies well, me. Well, you're all going to die anyway. Eventually. Yeah, might as well just help her along. <laughs> you're you're going to tell me about the sequel, hold on. Just before I forget, one thing about the chain to Bizarre, which took me out of it a little bit, is to do with the fact that these infected turn straight away and they're so fast and aggressive and stuff like that. It's like, there, there was at no point in that film that I believed it'd be possible to survive for five I, minutes. Well, yeah, okay. You just be, yeah, it's a killer. Yeah. You, it's a proper killer, you isn't You just it? Have, have absolutely no, no chance. chance. No chance at all. <laughs> Every time they get to a door and they shut it, the minute it shuts, bam, 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 bam. Oh, like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. They were just so fast as well. There's no, there's no way you'd have a, a minute to do anything. Well, but what, what's the sequel? So the sequel, um, Peninsula, um, is is nowhere near as good as um, Busan. And the reason it's nowhere near as good is because oh. it's it's not set on that isolated environment of a train. Um, they don't invest as much time with certain characters that they did in that first one. And it's a more generic zombie type film, which is set set later on, but set in the city. Right. Okay. So what watching it, I was pretty pretty disappointed at actually. Um, so what I mean about the writing and the love that's put into it and the setups and stuff is like mm-hmm. the attention to detail. Bigger budgeted film, the sequel. Um, you could tell that they had a lot more money to sort of like go around on it, but um, yeah, just nowhere near as as tight it wasn't as tight you know mm. didn't didn't have the flow that that had and didn't even have the same sort of apart from a couple of moments didn't have the same sort of threat or that idea of peril and, mm. and stuff so w- worth watching just to see how have it's you seen, different I think but... it's a zombie film have you seen the Spanish one where they're, they're, they're all locked up in the high rise oh wreck wreck where, where the well infected, infected again I think yeah, yeah. where the um, it starts with the film crew going and yeah that's it that's a cracking that's film. really good that, that, that's, that's a my, cracking film top five. i'd forgotten about that yeah rec 2 is really good as well Rec 2 is very good they're very very they, scary yeah they are really scary it's got that weird woman that's because it's kind of like a little bit um horror based around sort of like uh demons but the infection comes down from from like a a demon type sort of creature and the uh, top. yeah the top and it's that weird woman that you see that's bumbling around with the long arms and the extended the stomach ending. and that oh if you want to be really really scared watch that rec spanish film called wreck yeah don't watch quarantine that's the american remake which is rubbish no i've not seen that no but, no um, wreck is so scary that i don't i don't think i'd be interested in watching it now i'm a bit older i, I just can't take those kind of like mega scary thing just again it's that same thing like that what we've just watched it's set in a close environment Mm. they never leave the house Mm. uh so you're just talking rooms Mm. or stairways and Mm. stuff there there, there's real peril um there's no cgi creature or anything it's all yeah apart from that the very last thing but even that's done really really well but everybody else that's in it that's in infected is all infected and is made to look different because of proper prosthetic effects, the, the makeup effects and stuff. And it's just bloody good. It really helps, I think, to be, to put these things in situations where you can just quite easily imagine it's you. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I'd just find a cupboard and lock it. If you was on a train and that was happening, I mean, yeah. One what, of the toilet cubicles would be unavailable because I'd be in it and I would just lock it. <laughs> no, I'm serious. I think I'd rather just be die straight away. I, <laughs> imagine the, the, the terror, the sheer terror you're gonna have to put yourself in. You're gonna get it done anyway. I jump. Out There's no the way train. you're gonna survive. So. I jump out of the train window when it goes over a bridge, but they're on a bullet train, so it's probably going about <laughs> two hundred and fifty miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear lord. Okay, yeah, so, yeah, that's a really good call, Wreck, you mentioned that. I, I really want to watch that again now, actually. So, I've not seen that for donkeys. Oh, uh, yeah, I think I'd watch it with the lights turned on if I was going to watch that again. But interestingly enough, it might it might be worth documenting just quickly to our very small amount of viewers that the reason we're watching the horror is because we're, we're going to probably have a go at making a little short horror film, aren't we? Yeah. 
Where have been we a got, while, isn't it? Yeah, we've got a bit of spare time. We haven't, we're not done done one for a while, so we're doing a little bit of research. Um, next time we're going to watch It Follows. Yeah, we were going to watch It Follows today, to be honest. And I said to Driz, I've got the Blu-ray. And then it turned out I don't have the Blu-ray. Which then I thought, well, what can I take instead as a substitute? Then I thought, I know what, I'll take Train to Busan. Because I thought, I, I'm pre- I, I know you've seen it, but I, it's a great film. So next next one that we do, It Follows yeah, yeah. People, which is, again, I, I don't know how, I don't know how, I mean, it, that's got to be eight years old now. It's getting on a bit, yeah. Uh, I don't know how it will come across now. I haven't seen it probably pretty much since I saw it with you at the Broadway, but I know I just absolutely loved it when I saw it. Oh, it went straight into my top ten, maybe. Hot best horror films ever. Uh, we, plenty so, to talk about, that's for sure. Yeah, and, and enough time's gone by that I can't really remember everything now. No, I good. I can only remember a few isolated incidents. Incidences. Incidences. In- incidences. Peninsula. Peninsula. Pepsi-Cola. Pepsi-Cola. This film was sponsored by Burger King, by the way. Did you notice he had a Burger King at the start? No, but I noticed there's Nintendos everywhere. Yeah, they had Wii. You had the Wii too. Yeah. Uh, and they had. He was had. He and was he had eating a, a Burger Nintendo, King. Like handheld on the train. Got to get your Moolah from somewhere, mm. didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if Viagra said to me, "We'll pay you two hundred thousand if you advertise us in your movie," well, I'd say it's, yeah, it's a movie about kids and you'd, cats. You'd say but thanks. You, do you don't need to send me any. I'll, I'll just bring my own. Don't no, worry. I. I'll put the drops in my in in my eyes so I can look hard. Let's go. Okay. Let's go note. before we get cancelled. <laughs> on that note. Dwiz, final final thoughts? So I found it really easy to um, follow the, um, you know, obviously it's, it's in Korean. So you have to watch subtitles. It really helps when you've got a massive screen. You don't, you don't have to really miss anything when, when reading the subtitles. But uh, usually if I was going to recommend a film, I'd say, look, it is subtitled. So you might have to be in the mood or whatever. I, f- I felt this handled it really well. There wasn't absolutely shitloads of dialogues that you weren't constantly just trying to read through, you know, through the subtitles. So in in those terms, I, if you were afraid of that part of it, I'd, I'd say ignore that. Um, get ready for um, a quite intense, full on, but but really, really, I don't know what's going to happen next. Experience. Yeah, and I would also say if you're an emotional person. Have some tissues ready. Mm. No, no, not for that. That's nothing to do with no, the, not for that twist. Your Viagra. No, it? no, it's not. Um, so I will, I will wrap my thoughts up then by saying it's one of my favourite infected zombie type films. Go in. Uh, so for me, it's a ten out of ten. I think that's faultless. That film. Wow. I do honestly. I really do. Mm. Nothing bugs me about it. Um, I don't mind the um, get bit straight away infected or get bit depending on where you bit maybe whatever don't mind any of that love love it second watching it again just loved it as much as when i can remember watching it first time if a film does that for me as you know i'm a happy bunny so I, yeah you know well done to those people yeah well done that took me out of the real world for an hour and 40 minutes easily excellent um so so yeah, um, and I agree with what you say about the subtitling too, because some films subtitles you, you have to you rush to read them because you know they're going to go off screen quick as well, and there's none of that either. It's really relaxed, isn't it? It's really good. Yeah. So yeah, top job. Peace out. Peace out, and um, don't if you if you go any if you go near anywhere where they say and if it's called Yin Yang and they say there's been a leak from the lab the laboratory not lavatory laboratory. Don't go there.